от Анны пришел вопрос. Anna sent in a question. I no longer have any relatives who can tell me whether there was anyone in my lineage with special abilities. But if I am drawn to magic, doesn't that mean that there used to be someone? Is there a way to find out whether there was anyone in my family with abilities? Good question. If you don't know any specifics, then, of course, you can find out only through meditation, through deep immersion into the depths of your own subconscious. Here you will need meditative skills. We provide the methods at our Power of the Bloodline course. If you are able to concentrate on your own sensations, try to focus on your own self. Simply go deep down into the earth, as deep as she will allow you, and send your requests that way, with an intention of asking Mother Earth, tell me, teach me. Perhaps it will not happen right away. Some people must practice daily for months. For some it happens faster, for others it will take longer. But, as it is known, practice makes perfect. Try it. And next you will receive images, pictures, sensations, then something similar to memories, then they will morph together into one cohesive picture of a historical kind or certain interconnected events. Perhaps simply fragments, but in your consciousness the puzzle pieces will come together forming a picture. The information that enters your mind will agitate the bloodline memory, and it will function like keys, small keys that will match certain informational clusters within your mind, and they, in turn, will be unpacking further everything that relates directly to the subject of magical abilities, magic development, sorcery, and the ability of interacting differently with their surrounding world compared to an average person. And so things will start to come up. It is truly sad that there is no one left who could tell, but unfortunately that is a common situation for 90% of those who search. And even if someone used to know, they tried really hard to forget it all, so that there is no one who would tell, so that the second, third, fourth generations are left without this information. They thought that by doing this, they were protecting their children. But the time has passed, and it becomes evident that we can't be safe without this information. Now we cannot survive without this information, so we have to search for it. If your ancestors will feel that you truly need this information for your survival, and not just like that, to simply toy with and then disown it as our relatives during the acceptance of Christianity, then they probably will help you fortify, strengthen this information, help you make this channel more pronounced. All the information is saved within the earth, one could say, within our ancestors' bones, but in actuality it is even deeper. Mother doesn't forget anything. Everything that has ever manifested here, all is recorded within her memory. It's just that she doesn't give it up to just anybody. You will possibly need to go through trials, perhaps proving your own persistence, and that your desire is not a whim, but an actual and great need, and everything will work.